To make a start more swift than weighty, hail muse. Dear reader, once upon a time, say circa 1980, there lived a man. His name was John. Successful in his field, though only 26. Respected, lonely. One evening as he walked across Golden Gate Park, the ill-judged toss of a red frisbee almost brained him. He thought, if I died, who'd be sad? Who'd weep? Who'd gloat? Who would be glad? Would anybody? And Jan reconnect in leisurely weekend days spent together. A canceled performance by Jan's band leaves her at home one night, and she invites John to dinner. She yells a cheerful, I'm just coming, runs down the stairs two at a time, hugs him, and with unconscious drumming, chisel on door, remarks, John, I'm sorry. I'm in the very middle of, it's that hen. She's such a riddle. Go, take a walk around the block and come back here at 8 o'clock. John thinks, she hasn't changed much, really, in all these years. When he returns, they eat and talk, and John's heart burns with an old longing. Is it merely night? or her unchanged waywardness? And he says, Jan? And she says, yes. Yet tender as is their lovemaking, John gives his voice no leave to own what his hands touch, what his lips quaking, unknown perhaps to him, has shown more forthrightly than declaration. And if Jan's heart knows the elation it knew six years ago, when they were lovers, she does not betray by open word for fear of sweeping a turbid patina of dust on the clean fabric of their trust, that as her heart was in his keeping once and the sharer of his pain and gladness, so it is again.